Really need to clean my work area. Oh, mom's brakes, uh, her e-brake that she wants to work on, and she wants me to install some spark plugs. And I don't know what else, but see what happens. But today's talk is is about to begin a lot of requests about um, how do you install a brake light switch uh, bushing. I call it a bushing. It's like a stopper. Uh, it goes on the brake pedal. If you drive a manual, the manual uh, clutch pedal will have it and the brake pedal will have it. Um, if you be driving and someone's saying, hey, you're stepping on your brakes and you're not, uh, it, obviously your, your brake light switch is going out or your uh, brake light switch bushing that's on the actual brake pedal um, is no longer there no more. So it, it, what I kind of explain is kind of like a doorbell. When you push the doorbell in, when you push it, it will push that, uh, you know, it's going to make it ring. And then, um, well, that's kind of confusing the way I'm explaining it. Let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. <laughs> So I'll give you guys an example on the uh, Subaru, uh, and then I'll give you an example on my Toyota pickup truck. Um, what I found best is to, whenever you're going to install these, I like having the vehicle on because it makes the brake pedal soft. Uh, if you try to do, install it while the vehicle's off, eventually the brake pedal is going to get hard because it it's, doesn't have that much room to get your hands in there. But um, but this Subaru has plenty of room. On other vehicles, sometimes it just doesn't have that much room. But I'll show you guys. Let's turn this baby on. God, I gotta clean my car. Oh, and uh, I mean, you can see your back. You don't have to, but it helps. So I recommend it. <laughs> Let's get in here. Okay, so if you guys can see, this is your brake pedal. And we're going to follow this all the way up. And you're going to see this is your brake light switch. In front of that brake light switch is a bushing. Um, and it looks like this one is brown. And it has a different design than the ones that you normally see on vehicles. Um, I actually never seen this design before, but hey, I learned something new today. So I will show you on my other truck, or oh, on my truck, just to show you how normally you will find them. Okay, so this one right here is makes it much easier to explain it. So it's the same design for the um, brake pedal and the clutch. Um, do you see, uh, let's see here if I get the good lighting, there we go. Alright, that bushing right there, that black one, okay. If you go, if you go over there and look at your brake pedal and you see there's just a hole and you're like, Hey, Alex, I do not see a black bush in there. It's because your black bushing is gone, it's no longer there. So what you need to do is go to your local hardware store or you can go to your local dealership and you can buy one. They're very inexpensive. They're, they're, they're really cheap. So uh, obviously this one right here looks like I'm going to have to replace it. But um, some people get lucky that they found them like that. Some people get lucky. Uh, don't get that lucky. And it's gone missing. And they're in the middle of nowhere. And, and they have to turn off their vehicle. And they end up killing their battery. Well... Um, so if you're like in my position that you need to remove this to, to put a new one in, you could get yourself a hook that, uh, we'll show you here in a bit. And, um, you just pry it out to put the new one in. Obviously it's going to be so much easier putting a new one in. So, uh, all you need to do is lubricate the end of the bushing that I will call, it looks like a cone. And all you do is just push it in. And that's it. And then you're done. Um, 
so it's not that complicated guys it's really easy if I had one that I could show you guys how to install it I would but like I said this is very common sense is not that hard at all all right guys I'll see you on the next video oh and I forgot to show you guys this is what I'm talking about if you if you got yourself one of these obviously there's ones that are way smaller and you got the end is more uh, pointy um, it will help much more but this is the only one that I got at the moment so but um you could buy these you can find these at the hardware store Harbor Freight um, the tool trucks like Snap-on uh, Maco uh, this variety of different kinds of trucks but uh, I got that one because uh, I, I don't remember what, oh I was trying to remove a radiator hose and I've been told that it was much easier to remove that with with that so then I went ahead and bought it and man I love that tool okay guys I'll see you guys on the next video and I uh, hope I help you guys with your questions and I'll see you guys peace